the, the athletes that qualified for the final of the junior men toilet meters that will be at 18.05, that's 5 past 6 tonight. Christopher Williams, Khotsu Makawa, Petros Nguenya, Bradley Olifant, Dwayne Smith, Benjamin Richardson, Alexander Radov, and Sitsunitsi Nsongkemo. Those are the athletes that qualify for the junior men final at 5 past 6 tonight. Then the junior men 800 meters, the finalists, the athletes that will run at 20 minutes past 4 this afternoon, 16.20. The 10 athletes that has qualified is Riz Garib, Mishlali Kosile, Simpeksilovsile Koza, Karabu Barucela, Mpo Muraitse, Luan Jansen van Vieren, Tsepo Rasile, Jake Nkube, Claude Pick and Billy Lowe. Here is the athlete from Anka Adloop. On 12 over 4 and the final from the junior months 800 meters. senior men that has qualified for the semi-final. There will be three semi-final races. The first semi-final, given Petwana, Tadu Momokase, Ashwin Yurt, Eckhart Potvita, Karabo Ashiku, Mpo Sateke, and Zen Konkosi Tsinjubila. Those are the athletes that have qualified for the first semi-final. Um, and that will be at 2 o'clock. The second semi-final for the senior main is Madhu Wafafani Mukhara, Gino, Gino Sapalu. Marco van der Holt, Senior Sipu Dambele, Eric van der Holt, Thomas Nkuse, and Jermaine Schielbufia. Also, uh, while you guys are sitting here and waiting for the, the afternoon program to start, you must go there on the northern side uh, of the stadium, and that means there where the Annette Peters start. That's the northern side. And behind that, there are several stalls that sell food, and uh, there's a nice pizza uh, stall that sells awesome pizzas and also other food and drinks as well. So please support these people, uh, they are here the whole day, they will be here tomorrow as well, and support Tony. And this is not a trade advertisement, so I don't think I'm getting a pizza for free, but uh, let's support our people, uh, and hope they do very, very well. Then uh, I want to give you also 
Uh, while we're not getting paid by Tony for his pizzas, um, let me also just give you uh, the, the second semi-final for the 200 meter main and um, the athletes that have qualified for the second semi, for, uh, uh, second, uh, my apologies, uh, we've already made the second semi-final, the third semi-final. The third semi-final will be Kenneth Barakaro, Esehu Otlata, Tristan Dean, Dulali Nyamana, Chichetsu Osime, Nicholas Ferns, Ongani Mpangkhani, and Samran Gile Mbangwa. These are the athletes that have qualified for the third semi-final that will be running at 2 o'clock for the senior main 200 meters. The ladies, the senior ladies that have qualified for the final of the 200 meters that will be run at 20 minutes past 6 tonight. The athletes that have qualified is Mariki Reitz, Bernice Stephen, Mpotsen Sikise, Ria Petswe Maloi, Panele Shabangu, Wenda Nell, Toinette Murray, and Leska Nell. The youth ladies that have qualified for the final tonight that will be run at 6.30 or 18.30 tonight event number 94 Yunai van Heerden, Aracel Boe Deborah Nghaba, Precious Molope Fiwe Inkwe, Maria Bokwa Matitze Atam Nane and Desiree Steiner the youth woman high jump decathlon. In the third place was Jalei Hendricks 1.46, second place in the army Swanapu 1.46 and Iliana 1.46 the first place. Remember it's not about the placings it's about the points so you could be still be third getting the same points as a winner and that can still add up to being the winner although you are third. So it's not about the places, it's all about the points. And in the senior ladies, uh, Shannon Fisper with a very good height of 1.72 meters. That is a senior ladies high jump for their platform.
this is just another reminder. Um, I know I said it earlier today, but I just want to um, remind everybody again for those spectators and athletes that might not have been here earlier today, is that the Best Way Turks Athletic Stadium, they have installed a lightning alarm. And uh, when lightning is imminent, the alarm will sound. So if you are anywhere on the facility and you hear the alarm going off, do not even wait for the announcement to be made. Please immediately move to the pavilion. Do not go to the nearest tree or to the light masts. That's where lightning will strike most likely first. So when the lightning alarm goes off, everyone, that means technical officials, athletes, spectators and volunteers, immediately you move to the pavilion as quickly as possible. There will be an announcement also made to ask everybody to leave, but please, nobody should stay under the trees, nobody should be near a light mast, everyone should please move to the pavilion. That is the safest place in the event that lightning might be imminent, please. Dan wil ek net hier mooi vir allemaal vraag, ek het al vandag een paar keer genoem en ek wil hier ek hier net een keer vraag vir die persoene wat die vandag vroeger en vast al nie, is dat by die basement tiks in die tiekstadion is daar een weerlig alarm wat geïnstalleer is, so dat vertra daar dreigende weerlig is, dan gaan die alarm af en is er enig gaan skreeuw. Zodra u die sirene hoor, beweeg so gauw as moendlik na die pavilion. Moe nie eers wat vir die aankondiging nie. Zodra u die sirene hoor, moet u beweeg na die pavilion. Moe nie na die naaste boomarko nie. Want dis uit ook nie na by die lichtpale, die lichtmaske nie. Probeer dit vir my, enige hoë punte probeer dit vir my. En dis waar die dedig die eerste keer moendlik kan tref, en dis moet ek die die waarschijnlijkste plek waar ek kan tref maar ek vraag dat allemaal dan onmiddellik, zodra die sirene afgaan moet allemaal onmiddellik beweeg na die pavilion soos gauw is moendlik ons vertrouw het vir die nodig wees vandag nie en dat ons wonderlijke weer gaan hee maar ons wil my eenmaal net waarschuw dat as die sirene hoor, dat u wel weet dat dit een verre gelarm is en dat u onmiddellik na die pavilion moet beweeg. Ons vraag allemaal baie baie, ons sê ook allemaal baie baie dankie vir die samenwerking as dit nodig sal wees in die geval van weer.
for those that still want to see what the results are of all the events, it's been done on a WhatsApp group, and there are several groups, but if you want to, you can go to the following website, and that's just HTTPS, colon, trans slash, trans slash, trans slash, trans slash, athletics, hyphen, info. .co.za front slash results I will repeat it HTTPS front slash function athletics hyphen info dot co dot za front slash results and you will find several groups on this website that has the a WhatsApp group, you can, you can register on one of these WhatsApp groups. All results. And this was our first heat of two for our sub youth girls 20 meters. And this, uh, this race was won by Zambay from Amber, and official time 25.17 seconds. The second heat, there's only two heats. <laughs> Entered for this heat is seen this way in Kubeli, Kathleen van der Rooyen, Natalie van Hoof, CDK, Haasbroek, La Rochelle Maynard. And the Wonga and Kosi, these are the six athletes that have entered for the second race, for the second heat, girls 16, 200 meters. from my vantage point that CDK has won this race at official time 26.03 seconds and uh, now we'll have another break and uh, at 2 o'clock our senior men the first semi-final in the 200 meters will take place at 2 o'clock and again this is not a paid advertisement but please support our vendors there are vendors uh, on the northern side of the facility that's behind the starting line, at the starting line. There are some vendors there. And also we've got a, a vendor here with drinks and with some nice ice cream just on the southern side of the pavilion. Yeah, so and before you come up to the pavilion, you'll find another vendor that sells drinks and ice cream. So please also support our vendors uh, as they come here and they provide a great service to our people and we're also lucky to be back once again in the situation where we can have spectators uh, 
attending our events. So please, also help these people. They were also, like yourself, not allowed to be on the facility and had a tough time. So let's support all our vendors at the stadium today. There seem to be no event taking place now. Yeah. 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 The results of the sub youth boys long jump and the 16 boys long jump in the bronze medal position with a distance of 6.01 meters. Reginald Sebuse in the second place, the silver medalist Leskin Samuels, the distance of 6.31 meters. And our champion for 2022, the aging champion in the boys and the 16 long jump is Titsetsu Mosima with a distance of 6.45 meters. Then in our results of the girls 16, the heats that you've just seen are just taking place in front of us. In the first heat, Zenik Boot is third with a time of 25.74 seconds. Then in the second place was Christina Rocha, 25.35 seconds. And in the first place in this first heat, Zante van der Merwe, 
25.16 seconds. In the second heat, the third place, the time of 27.23 seconds, Natali Verhoef. In the second place, Isabella van Rooyen, 26.42 seconds, or Cathy van Rooyen, as they call it, 26.42 seconds. That was second, and in the first place, Tzidiki. Tzike Haasbroek, 26.02, my sorry, my apologies, Tzike Haasbroek, 26.02, and she's from Waterkloof, and she is the winner of the second heat. I thought there was no break. Discuss. These guys are practicing. Cat, I just noticed that these guys are still practicing or something. I can't even see the ball. Come on, Katazana. participating during this time on the field we've got the junior men long jump and we've got some amazing athletes there there's a young man called Asan, Asande Asande Matembu from Prestige College and this young man um, I can tell you now he's going to be our next long jump superstar he's an amazing athlete and a very good long jumper and this year 
the orange jump further than 7.70 7 meters. I think it was a 776 that he jumped at a meeting a while ago. So please let's keep our, our, our eyes on our Sandy Matembu. And then also there's another young man, uh, Dikama Shabangu, also a very good long jumper. Also a gentleman that, that has jumped further than 740. A uh, very good jumper as well. So these athletes are really good jumpers uh, in the long jump. And they, anything can happen in the long jump. But I can, these two athletes, I think, are the athletes to watch. Then also in the senior event, like I mentioned earlier, at the same time, is Jovan van Vieren. Now he has jumped his personal best of uh, 8.10 meters. Last year, he consistently jumped further than 8 meters at meetings. He had an injury and he has just came back from an injury. But he's also a young man that we can watch and I think that's somebody that can get very close to 8 meters today. But um, we've got some excellent athletes participating in the long jump. And then also uh, an event that we can actually keep our eyes on is the boys and the 16 discus that will start at 22.2 at 13.40. Uh, they will also keep our eyes on uh, the discus. And I think we've got some great athletes also participating there. So uh, while we're not doing anything else, let's keep our eyes on this. And then also we've got the under 18 javelin. The boys javelin also taking place, the youth javelin taking place. And then we've got some awesome athletes as well. So, uh, and then we've got uh, a 1340, we've got the youth uh, heptathlon and the junior heptathlon and the senior heptathlon athletes also doing a shot put. But let's keep our eyes on the, the long jump. I think that will be a very exciting event. And uh, let's see if we can get with a Sunday jumping 770 or further today and also Juan coming very close to 8 meters or even surpassing 8 meters I will keep you posted of those events taking place
And in the long jump, as I said earlier, there's some athletes that we have to watch. Now, the first athlete in action today is Asandi Mutembu. And I can tell you, like I said, this is our new rising superstar. This is a man that's going to be a mega star in the future. He's going to be an Olympian. I will not be surprised if he, in about seven or eight years, seven or eight years time from now, uh, be the South African record holder. This young man has got an enormous, has got enormous potential. He's already surpassed 77, 770 this year, and that for a junior boy is very, very good. So let's keep our eyes on our Sunday with Tengu. And I will also try to give you uh, the result uh, of his jump. So let's just watch him. I will let you know when he starts. When they are ready. But he will be our first participant in this AGA Championships of 2022 in the Junior Boys Long Jump. Sunday 
Uh, so just to open up, we all know that the athletes have uh, still jitters. It was a 6.94 meters. But I can assure you, we're going to have a much better distance, a much further distance. Uh, waiting. He's got five more jumps left. Tikana Shabangu, our next athlete in the long jump.
our next athlete is Yuban Kampil, take the long jump. That's a very, very good jump there by Yuban, the opening round, very, very good one. We'll be the distance now. I know it was very close to stepping over as I saw the, the technical official there having a good look to see if it was a legal jump. It is legal. Let's see what the distance was. But from, from my vantage point, it looks like a very, very good jump. Open up before you want it. Just waiting for the official result there for Shivan, and I'll give it to you now uh, as soon as I've received it. But uh, in the meantime, the athletes there um, in the semi final, the first semi final of the senior men for 200 meters, given Pitwana, Tanu, Mamohase, Ashwin Yur, Ekar Potgeter, Karabu Mashihu, Mupo Satege, and Tembo Konosi, Tsebo Fula. And I've just heard that Jovan opened with a 7.91 meters. Ladies and gentlemen, that's awesome. Let's give the band an applause. That's a very good distance to start off. Jovan, well done. You just came back from injury at a 7.91. That is very, very good for the young man. So we might even see a 8 meter plus and way over 8 meters today. Let's see. But well done, Jovan. 7.91 meters. Okay, <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. If you've just uh, joined us, as of you are still watching my social media platform, Facebook, and on the YouTube channel, you are now on time for the 200 meter main semi final. Three of these semi finals. So, lane two, Kevin Patona. Lane three belongs to the man, Tado. Mama Hasi and in lane four, one of the guys who went out uh, fastest, so uh, they will be in the middle of the park. It will be Ashwin Yuert and then uh, alongside him, the man that ran the fastest 200 meters earlier on this morning is going to be Eckert uh, Portita. In lane six, it's a welcome Karamo Mashiko. In lane seven, a summon uh, Sakate. And in lane eight, the man Teddy Kosi Chibula. So that is the lineup. Seven gents. So now it gets a bit more serious, guys. When you were jogging earlier on, Trevor. now you have to run for a spot in the final. So that we get back home, that we get spiel with the cars, and we get from back. It's a little bit of a risk there. Are. Welcome to the Lakes County North Seniors and uh, Combined Championships. Next up, ceiling, 200 meters, right here on this very track. In 2018, 
Ernst Mugnai in lane five broke or set the new mark of 19.69 in the men's 200 meters. Who of you can try and replicate that? So it's going to be a long season this year. We've got uh, the Worlds, we've got the Commonwealths. Obviously, Senior Championships is uh, the earliest one. Actually, no need to be sharpened up already. But we would like to see some fast races. I don't see a source in the for Dambile Lani getting first onto the track. I don't see him yet. Rebellion!
Which event are we off to now? Isn't, isn't this food for that guy? Oh!
Ciao, ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao,
Madubani di first niya na Madubani. Madubani di first niya na. Tigi ko di di marin si Jay. Eight April, June. Two days. Eh, ano ba na? Yaya weekend day ko daw. Yaya masaro. Yaya ba na? Yaya June. Nren na masin na ko di ma. Eight April. Ang mga binalik ni Tina. Good, good way to trade. Ne, ada 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 warga for the six. I, I don't ever flew in. Tuzuno, at least the 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 warga the six. Kasi 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 seventy meters. The warga seven zero five is you. Seventy. Ah, eight zero five. Sure. Zero. Yeah. The pass diga. Then sixty. Sixty meters. Mro bandora six. Zero four. I'm on six. There are seven zero four. So six six. Seven zero four. A six. Gloria. Yes, I'm on your hands. Nikau dengan semai, tapi orang masih usa. Tunggu masa buat. Tunggu masa buat. Ati show. Mara after after as. After as. Tunggu masa buat. Tunggu masa buat. Yes, those are Nitora, Nitora, K60, Nitora 7, 0, 4, 0, 4, this, this is because the blocks. Not the first, this is because the blocks. Not the first, because the blocks. In the four, in the four, in the four point, yes, but I feel because the blocks. So, yeah. Because of these. Cut the same. Also, also the heat. One, one forty-seven. Too much. One forty-seven. You fast. One forty-seven. Yo.
Don't worry, man. I'll take that place. No problem. you <laughs> Next week, next week, next next week, no rest. What? I'm not going to I'm going to get Oh, the sun's going to be on. Do you do that? Do you do that? Do you do Do you do you do you do that? Bring out your best airport. Yeah. Bring out your best airport. You Bring out your best airport. for next week the super sports
But after that, this is us, okay, they are around the corner. Eight up. Eight up, red. Eight. Yeah. Yeah? I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go so in this way, so. It's Reva. Come here, six nine. You don't want to answer six nine. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going
Trevor, after I get well, I want to go.
Now we can start with athletics again. We apologize that we were quiet, but unfortunately we've got a small generator and unfortunately the generator could not power the PA system as well. 
but he had some amazing results, especially in the long jump. He was, remember, I spoke to you earlier, shot put. In the third place was Dieter Schubert, 18.33 meters. Second was Wesley Bartos, 18.33 as well. But on um, uh, Wesley had a better second attempt than uh, Dieter, and that's why uh, he is placed second. And in the first place was Tian Stolz with 90.07 meters. That is a very, very good result as well. So um, we are now looking forward to the rest of the afternoon. We are going to have some great events that, that will be awaiting us. Uh, the 200 meter finals, we have 800 meters, and we have, um, let me just see um, what other events we have for the rest of the day. But um, we can have excellent results late tonight also uh, in the 200 meters that we're looking forward to that in all the age groups. And then also, um, and in the walk, we also got to walk this evening as well for the younger athletes. And then the 10,000 for the men and the women late tonight. And then also one of the highlights will be at uh, 1720, that's 20 minutes past five, will be the 400 meter hurdle for the junior girls and uh, the youth girls just after that, 1725 running four of these actually but three of them running very very well quarter past five this afternoon we've got Giselle Ackermans, Nathan Revolt and Taylor Bilt they will be fighting for the gold medal and that's going to be an a that's going to be a very very good race but also uh, the main senior men uh, four meter hurdles we've got two heats and um, we're also looking towards going forward to that we've got uh, athletes like Sox Zazini. Now Sox is a world junior and the world youth champion and he also uh, medaled, he got the silver medal in 2019 at the world uh, student championships. Uh, also uh, one of the athletes that can uh, perform very well. He ran 48.99 last year at the Olympic Games, also an Olympian. And uh, so it's going to be very, very tough. But we've got Larue Haman, we've got Kostan uh, Victorias, we've got uh, Linda Hora, and um, all these athletes are running, uh, Marcus Borman, we've got all these athletes running uh, later on in the semis or just uh, the heats for the 400 meter final. And uh, tomorrow we will have the finals of this event. So a lot of great excitement, 800 meters still to come. 200 meters, let's wait for the rest of the program, but at least now we can start communicating with you and also keeping you abreast of all the developments happening on the track. Then I've also just received the results of the boys in the 16 high jump. That's the sub youth boys in the high jump. In the third place and the bronze medalist is Billy van Beek with the height of 1.75 meters. Second, Armand Duffy, 1.80 meters. And the winner and uh, karting North champion for 2022 is Leskin Samuels with height of 1.95 meters. He is a gold medalist and the champion for uh, AGN 2022.
then I just received a message and um, there's a bucky and the registration number is HD64GXGP we tell Delta 64 Golf X-ray GP um, I'm not sure what the manufacturer or the, or the fabricant of the vehicle is but you've got some lights on your vehicle has some lights that's still on it's a Mahindra, a Mahindra Hotel Delta 64 Golf X-ray GP your lights are on so if you are fit and you think you can push the car down the road tonight um, you don't have to worry uh, if you like me I am definitely running now to switch off the lights so please it's very important go to switch off your lights uh, it's a Mahindra Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the very first final of the Dashes, the Sprint's 800 meters senior event. Well, it is going to be explosive. It's going to be exciting. Welcome the gents as they line up in lane one in the colors of Maasai. Let's welcome Genital Elvis Mkonoana. And in lane number two, also representing Masai Tevopato Pelani. In lane three, the man in the colors of Tex, Abedmiko Choma. He is indeed the under 20 ASA Championships Super Midlands. In lane four, Charlani Namani from Masai. And how about this man? He is currently holding the 26th fastest time in the world currently let us welcome two-time national champion Tepo Tsiete and on the outside of him uh, the man uh, also there from Masai welcome Duelo Mashaba he's going to be followed hot hot by the on form undefeated young man he ran in his heat and was also undefeated in the colors of Dax Ekman Duplessy He's going to be powered on by the 2021 silver medalist, the man from Masai, Joel Mone. Well, Joel Sinenya, rather, in lane 9, the man all rather on the inside of him, also in lane 8, Mone Makala from Tux. Chase Sinenya is also in this contest. That is the lineup of the senior men, 800 meter final. And then, ladies and gentlemen, just a very important announcement, and this comes from the University of Pretoria and the Tech Sport Management. Um, athletes or, and or the spectator, but uh, a, a person has been found that has been tampering with the fire extinguishing uh, equipment. Uh, it is against the law. You are not allowed to tamper or to in any way interfere with any fire extinguishing equipment. Uh, there's a reason for that, and that is when we need the fire extinguishing equipment to work for us, it should be in working order. And if you tamper with it, uh, it is a, it is a, you break, it's a criminal offense. You can go to jail for that and get a hefty fine. So it's very, very important, please, if you see somebody tampering with any equipment, uh, any fire extinguishing equipment, albeit a, a hose or a hydrant or even a fire extinguisher, the container itself, please report it to us and uh, we need to make sure that those things are in working order. But please assist us with this and also everyone um, that sees somebody tampering with the equipment Please inform us uh, immediately so that the necessary action can be taken against that person. I thank you so much for your kind assistance in this and uh, let's enjoy the athletics as this afternoon.
Oh, Julian Zemena asking uh, right now. Yes, sir. Right now is the call. This flight of the wings. 800 meter final is about to take off in two minutes time at quarter past. We've been waiting for this moment. We've been waiting for you to set this track ablaze. It is show time. It is go time. Jinx lining up in the final of the men's 800 meters. You watching at home via the backtrack platform, welcome. Hold on to your seats. It's about to get fast real quick. So the man on the inside, Elvis Okonana. And in way to Tsukhofato Pilani. How about that? The youngster there in lane three, Abednego Chaba. 120 silver medalists. Yes, he waves at you, he hears it. And he is going to be now of age and has to go out. Jalani, Tomani, took the guys to task earlier on this morning. Can he do it once again? But this time, it is when it matters. Ten gentlemen, one gold. Will it be Tsepotiete? The man on fire. Will it be him? Which boots? Edmund to be seen. Unbeaten so far, so Edmund, unbeaten throughout the events that he's been going on. He's been at the classic shootouts, he's been running 1,000, he's been running the miles, he's been tempering with himself and going to see if he can fly. Well, the moment is here and now. The silver medalist, Julian Morning, powerhouse, he's there in the front. So James Sillinger, together with the champion, shoulder to shoulder, who would it be? No time to hide. Here we go, the whistle is about to go down, and then it is fight or flight. So the gun is even afraid to go off because there's a massive one coming up. Come on, gents. Show us what you made of. This is your moment to shine, guys. So, of the four guys that will go first in this one, surely that will be your four fastest guys at the national champions, championships. So, show us the good times. The man, South African champion, is currently 26th in the world based on world lead times. Show us. <laughs> the gun goes off. The silence is over. The wait is over. 300 meters done or 100 meters done, 12 seconds. So they're going to be either it will be a fast one or it will be a tactical race. We will see that once they come through the first 400 meters. 300 meters is relatively quick at 28 seconds. 300 meters, that's good, boys. It's a good intensity. Come on, boys, show us the good stuff. 300 meters, 39 seconds. Romani in the front, Triple C, unbeaten also in the front. All this is now where the good guys are going to be firing up. 52 seconds, 53 seconds. Wow, a bit of a trip, a bit of a tussle, a bit of a scuffle. And then Nico Choba moves to the back of the bus. After he slipped there on Tempo Theatre. Well, this is going to be a bumpy drive. This is going to be a fire. 300 meters now to go. At 69, now 70 seconds. Who wants it the most? 
England on the inside, said there is no poise, he's set to strike, he moves to the front, 200 metres remaining, this is going to be almost in the lights of a national championship, Tap on here again, Edmund to the sea, he's now moving, he's flying, Holmes oh, going to catch him, it's going to be one more horse race, Tap on here walking back and forth, who wants the second spot the most? Come at the hour, come at the man. Balls, the result as soon as I've received it, but that's an excellent time. And uh, as I said earlier, we're expecting a time. You already showed it, we did have a 147.99 in the heats, that he was coming to show the guys what it's all about. And uh, we said we hope that we've run a time of 146 or faster, and there it is, 145. 71 unofficially, but uh, I'll give you the results of the official, uh, from the officials as soon as I receive it. Well done. Well, I can just confirm that the official time was 1 minute 45.71 exactly that on the clock so that will be the official time but we'll give you the official results as soon as i've received it from uh, the officials but i will just confirm with the with the technical official at the different timing the official time is 1.45.71 great result So, Sepo Tiete, 145.71. That is indeed the second fastest time in the world at the moment. That is incredible. The fastest time is 145.56. Sepo Tiete, 145.71. Also a personal best. Lovely. So then, men under 20, this is your moment. So there he is. The South African under 15 record holder is in the house, in lane one, Garrett Rees. Well, let's see what he's going to do. He's now of age, and he's going to go up against the man that was fifth at the under 18 championships. Is that Michali Posile in the colors of Tux? 
Let's watch out for what they another man here in the middle of the park. Specific Corsa, Carabo Matotela, Mpo Blanza, and the man Johan Yasser from Fielen in the colors of Black Jack. It is going to be another humdinger from Prestige. Watch out if that powerhouse, Tepo Rasile, he is strong, he is powerful. Can he do it once more? Here we go. So the intensity rises, it is 800 meter action, it is one of the first finals of uh, the second half of the program here at the uh, Athletics Hardware World Championships 2022. Well, oh, Reese pulls out the, at the 250 meter mark or 70 meter mark. It is all about the guys now being in the colors of that Jack. Who's going to take it? Who wants it the most? As they fly on, Yasser van Vieren. Let's watch the man also from uh, Swarko being in uh, the colors of Swarko. Miss Claude Baker. Video is in the mix. It is the under 20, 800 meter final. Who's going to fly all out? This is going to be a lifetime battle between Karama Matonsela, between the well, Lisa Zad, it's uh, going to be the man from Dux, Species that calls up, who's on his shoulder, the Turks guys, high in the hunt, in the mix, watch out for Michali at the back of the back, it's going to be a lovely one here, well, 60 seconds, 67, it's going to be a good one, 70 seconds now, well, they are now taking each other on by the scruff of the neck, taking this encounter, the final 250 meters, and there's the three top guys there in the colors of ducks. As they fly around, 200 meters now to go more. 124, 25, 126. It's going to be a flying here. 150 meters coming around the bend. Now they are putting the foot to the barrel. They are putting the hammer down. And it is fly time for the final battle. But three guys that will fly for the line. But they will be the man also here from Ducks. That will reign supreme. It's not ready. It is a battle. A scuffle. So, this is in the likes of a national championships. Athletics Hunting North, for the past five years, has been dominating the South African platform. Can they do it once more? No pressure, just fire, speed, intensity. Now we wait for the boys, 18. Is there any more results? We have some results before we go with the boys, 18. So here we go, there is your lineup for the boys or the men 18, 800 meter final in line one in the Kalisi from Prestige College, Kakejo, Tekiso, and the Kalis of Swakop there alongside him is going to be Leandre Prokos from Tux. Let's welcome the man, Sankelo Mbesa. Well, he's been running this track of blaze. Can he do it this time around? Juan Del Mort in the colors of Swako is going to be in fine form. Saw him this morning and he smiles. He acknowledges that he is in for a fight. Who wants to fight together with him? Will it be the man from Tux? Camelo, Mutami 
three. And in lane number 16, the colors of boxer on the outside, Matthew Bird. So, Matthew has been a new up-and-coming star. He set the second stage at Reisig Blaze last year when he was in the Puma School of Speed. Can he do it this time around? As welcome as well, Ian Dibbett from Mitski, Carlos Carrara from Dax, and Keegan van der Man, Swanko, well, Alexander Smith, Vortigern. That is the lineup of the main 18. 800 meters. Well, what have you been through the front there in the colors of Tuts? Together with him, there's going to be Johan Dijkport, Swarko, and the man from Fisky. So it's still pretty early days. Kakeho Tekiso, 800 meters, Tux in the front, Camelo Makabeki, he's going to be chased while well. there's a dive before he gets up and he's back in the race, the man from Martha Cliff, surely will be out of this contention, but it's not about, uh, well, if you fall, it's about how you get up and still continue fighting, the race is on here at the front, as they enter, Bennett is in the third spot, the man from Swarko, Carl is going to be the man in the colors of Tux that takes the front lead. It's going to be a lovely time here for the first 400 meters, 55 and some change. Then it's going to be Swarko, Delpo, the man is firing, Bennett is on his shoulders. Bennett now tries to move to the front, the man from Tux is currently holding that lead firmly in his hand. Holding the gold medal, 300 meters to go. Here we are now, 1 minute 13, 1, 14, 15. Burnett currently in second now, moves to the front. The man, there's a bit of a surge by the man from midstream. There's 210 meters. There's 200 meters now. It's going to be the man from Tux that leads it all the way from the front. Cabello, Mitty Baby. He's followed by Burnett. Burnett, the eight colors of the Boxer, 100 meters. There is going to be Mutimeli. Will Bennett catch him? They are not shoulder to shoulder. They are flying away. They are paying the good guy. Throwing the sea. The camera. Everything goes black. Power and energy to the line. Bennett dies. 152 on the clock. Lieber Owens, this is a good luck. For two of them. Well, they are tearing each other apart. And there's no more time to hide. So now the question is who took it? Who crossed that line first? Motivity and Bayland. Yeah, it's okay. I can't see it. You called it. Lovely. And uh, the winner of this race is Matthew Bird Burnett with a time of 151.99 151 seconds. And he just just tipped uh, the athlete from Tech Sport. But Matthew Burnett from Boxer is the official winner of this race. Watch the next guys. Watch out. Swakop Rikukusan. 
He's going to go together with the man there from office, Bjorn Erlang, who's been in fine form. Van Gouds there also from office. Marcel Prince from Montana. So who will it be this time around? Megan Park is crowned the Twitter Super School Champs. Will it be Luan Koo? Let's go. Let's welcome Simulate 
Well, she's going to be well up against on the inside of her in lane number five. It's going to be the two-time national champion, the under-20 champion, Ruben Sopodiso. Her first race for the season, so not going to put any more pressure on her. And here we go. So there they go. Top instructions there by the starter. So already flying lights out. Whoa! Who's going to go? Is she just going to hold that pace? Because she's got two monsters behind her coming down. Well, Prudence according to in her first race. Can she do this once again? She is indeed the two-time national champion. She ranges with a massive personal best in the 800 meters there of 201. Can she go once more? It's going to be a lovely, lovely encounter here as we see a light on to a battle and encounter. On this very track, Sokoliso took the national championship. She's a defending champion. She's a under 20 champion. Now she takes the lead. She takes the fight. She's going to go up against Sango Duriso. And Duriso now can run out of this one. 57, 58 on the first lap. Well, in third is the big Garnas. Powerful runner as well. She ended seventh in the national championships last year. And also in this one, Nicole Fenton ended fifth in the national championships. And Sean A. Swart, in the colors of Tex as well, in the fourth in the national championships. She has a personal best of 211. She found the in second position. It's going to be Prudence and Coliso on her very first race. Going last off, going come all the way. As she, she hits the 200 meters, 130 to go. Now it's an entertaining race here. Simone Bates powers on to the third spot. What's she get there? Is she going to run out? is grinding, is driving for the line. It's going to be Simone Bates, but they're in the front. Ladies and gentlemen, the national champion wants your score on the 16. Here she passes the line. Brilliant Sokoliso. Lovely stuff. Came out for a fight. 201, 202, 203. Wow, a great time of 204.21. There in second. Coming to claim the silver medal and the bronze medal with our two Sunday lights. Shauna is swap powering the while she just came out from 440 meters and she took charge and she went for that silver medal. That is the women's 800 meters. So Prudence for your first race. Wow. 20421. She ended the season last year at 209. Incredible. So Mohani Semenga showed us that this race is no longer a jog. This race has become one of the fastest. Watch the lady in lane four. She fought, but not going to put any pressure on her. She was uh, part of the 2019 Senior Women's Championship. She was representing Khash Montaigne. Well, Kayla is one of the towers in this particular race. She is strong. She's powerful. She ended fourth in that championship last year at the Senior Women's Championship. She ended eighth. Eight ladies in the country. She is one of them. On the inside, they're in the colors of Prestige College. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be lovely to watch her. Tapi Mabuso from Prestige College. She's going to go on with Abhela Tabalala. And it's time to fly 800 meters. So they all watch Kayla kind of work up in the colors of tux. Hops uh, one time. On the outside of her in the colors of box, boxer. Carla from Mike. From Mike slots into first. Puerta, will Puerta hold the firm? Will she hold that the inside spot? Here she anchors the inside spot. 
has to work hard to get in front of her. On the inside of her, the tall, well, the short figure there, well, can she just sneak through the inside? No, not going to happen on this occasion, no, but she rather moves on the outside of Kayla. Then it's going to be Pump Bike, it's going to be Bruta, it's going to be, well, the, the colors of Tux moving swiftly to the front. Paul Mashaku, Paul Mashaku is there in the front. Well, Tuck is sticking with them. She's currently there in the first spot. Ready to spike, ready to take, ready to pounce, ready to take down. Tom Mike is in the front. It's going to be Kayla Puerta. And it's going to be the, the colors of Tux moving to the front. It's going to be an incredible race there by Kifiru. What a lovely fire here at the end. It's a woman under 20. 800 meters, 300 meters less to run. No, it's from Bike in the front. Has she found her spark? Has she found her magic? As she's flying away, every stride she goes away from uh, Puerta. Puerta trying to catch up there in the third spot in the colors of Tuck Sport. Amakhelan trying to go with it. Amakhelan is in trouble. Tuppy is chasing her there in the colors of Prestige. Will she close down and narrow it down? It's going to be fun, Bike. Who has a runaway? She runs lights out at the moment as she flies for the line. Oh, the silver is in trouble. The bronze is in trouble. It's going to be a fiery end here at the end. Will it be Tuffy against the bronze as she shifts round the end? Blue Lake and she challenges the silver. Mercy much. Blitter will take the silver. And the bronze will go to Matapelo in the colors of prestige. After such a long time put out of action by an illness, Matapelo comes out firing and she claims a bronze. Junior main 800 meters. The junior main 800 meters. The official result for the 800 meters junior main in the bronze medal position. Mpo Moletze, 151.14 seconds. In the second place was Karabum Barumsela, 150.42. And the national, or well, not the national champion, the provincial champion, the HN champion for 2022. And gold medalist, Sipisile Koza. 150.35 seconds. Then the junior or the youth men, the an 18 men, also the official result in the third place. San Kelo Mbeza, 155.12 seconds. In the second place, Caravello Motlabeli, 152.01. And the gold medalist and virtual champion for 2022, Matthew Burnett. 151.99 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, so like promised, it is heat after heat, wave after wave. There is explosive. Welcome to the women under 18, 800 meters. And wow, one explosive fire. We've got uh, Texas second uh, A, Mawela. In the colors of Tux, Marlene from the Lender, from Class Monday, Talita Woman, in the colors of Montana. Well, Talita Woman has been in fine form. She's got the big, the greats in this one. Oh, look who's in the front. Uh, Isabri Iacos. So, interesting to see. It's going to be a cracker of a race. It's going to be Lizardy Packer. In the colors of Swatfo, she is the under 18, 3,000 meters ASA champion. Can she have the speed for an 800 meters? She's got the zombie and she's got another athlete in the back of her. But 
all walk to Hika. She's in third currently. They take the belt. It is a tactical race. Slotkop is in the front. The leader, well, it's going to be a fight all the way to the end. She's at 3,000 meters. She takes this one. She takes them along. Will they tag along with her? Will Tanika go? She's in third. And already you can see the gap that's uh, forming behind it. It's going to be a lovely one. Well, this fight is going to be. There's a score to be settled here. There's a rematch to be held here. It's 220 meters to go. Who's going to take this encounter? Will it be Yarkos? Will it be Dakar? Who's going to fight? Who's going to fight? Tanika is rang down out of this encounter. 150 to go. It is going to be a mile 41. There's a lovely battle up on the court. 100 meters now to go. He's on the Yarkos. On the other side. She takes this one and this puts her teeth into it. Will she run away with this one? Yes, sir. She's going to be a defeat in this time round. There was a score to settle from the get-go. His only came out with the Rangers. She was defeated last week in the top 30. But wow, what a way to come up. And a 2 0 beautiful. So, Isabri Yarkos reigns supreme this time around. The 3,000 meter champ comes short of that one. Under 18, SA Sachem, Lisa Marie Jackson. Powerful, Teresa Eobra. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to keep your eyes on the next race as well. So, every race from here has been incredible. It has been beautiful, but beautiful beasts. Up next, women, 6800 meters. See you later now. In lane one, Tux. Latest one up to one the inside of her from on top, Kayla Lima. She is a incredible. Watch out for her. Niman Fiery in form. Alan Clear from Aki Spaces alongside her with Chantal Mung from the Athis. Shanae Demet on the outside from Lenu Park. She's going to be chased down by Rachel Shawwoods in from Lenu Park as well. Mika Woods, Lenu Park, Christina Maseko from Prestige College. And on the outside, Gabriela Woods. Who is going to take this encounter? Women, 6,800 meters. It is final time. Chantel tries to go with them. 
Martinic is in the fifth position, or sixth position, a very dangerous position. There's a, one of the athletes from Mendo Park, a bit in no man's land, but moving there away from Montana, Kayla Nimoy, showing them a clean pair of bills. She is putting her teeth into this one. Is it going to be a lovely crowd there at the end of the silver medal? There is 800 meter action, the final 100 meter in county. Montana, off his races, Mendo Park, it looks like it's going to be Nimoy. That's going to be on the face, as she's going to be untamed, as there's a fight there for the silver medal. No, it's not going to be a fight. It is all over. Yeah, they have settled this one. Nimon takes the gold, and there the colors of Alphys will settle for the silver. Little Park will settle for the bronze medal. Now we can silver. Those are the fights. Surely that race of the girls, 18, was the most entertaining of the 800 meters. Tep Watsiete is just in a class of his own as he just dropped the second fastest time in the world at the moment. I also just received the official result for that men, the senior men 800 meters in the third place. Edmund Duplessis with a time of 147.31 seconds. Second was Jabulani Nkomani, 146.95. And then, as we all heard, Tempo Tite, 145.71 seconds. And Tempo, if you are still here, please just come to the announcer. I'd just like to speak to you about something, please. So, Tempo, if you're here. Then, this one, another result uh, while we're waiting is the boys 16, 800 meters, a sub youth in the third place. This is Marcel Fritz, 156.29 seconds. And in the second place, Werner Goos, 1 minute 55.78. And in the first place, Rico Kutzer, 1 minute 54.16. Our ladies, seated ladies, 800 meters. In the third place, Simone Weitz, 2 minutes 14.12 seconds. Second, Shanae Swart. 2 minutes 9.49 seconds and in the first place and our champion for 2022 Prudence Sikhodiso 2 minutes 4.19 seconds the, these were the results of the senior ladies 800 meters It's 400 meter hurdle time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first senior event. 400 meter hurdles. So, it is going to be a lovely one. Lane 2, the Oxford Marcus Barman, or Barman, rather, the colors of tax in lane 3. Topa, Topa, Topa from TT. On the outside, we've got Jean Pierre Nessoff from tax. And in lane 5, from tax as well, Luan. So, that is the first installment of the men's 400 meter hurdles. So these are straight finals, two finals.
you at the senior men first final 400 meter hurdles in leg two. Let's walk on the back from Tax Marcus Borla. Leg two to Fato Matopa from TUT. And in leg three, a shot the air cutoff from Tax. Leg five belongs to Ron Hedbrook in the colors of Tax. So it's all about time. Whoever crosses that line and stops the clock the fastest will be the winner. Second flight is all being prepared. <laughs> so, James, it is not a secret that if there's two finals, and you know the guys in the second finals are giant slayers. You run like crazy. You run like there's no tomorrow. So 400 meter hurdles. Five gents, four gents in this one. Nine ladies. Flight one is fine, flight two, three, flight four, we are ready, let's fly. So the two guys on the inside are alternating being the man in the lane. He's slightly up a fraction, but now going to the front is going to be Marcus and Tofata that will battle it out. They are now in a class of their own. There's 24 seconds, 25. There's only four more videos to go. It's going to be Marcus in the lead as Tofata is trading in. Marcus spent a little bit more time in the air in that one. Is he going to go faster over these last two? There is, he needs to be as smoothly and not go too high. It's a great heel, it's a great alternation once again. Marcus now puts his team a bit higher up, but he puts his team in this one as he goes for the line. 51, 52, one line. Well done, uh, Jean Pierre. And uh, ending it off uh, is going to be Luan. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's introduce to the second final of the men's 400 meters. In lane number one, or lane two rather, lane one is not going to be used. Lane two, an up and coming youngster here from Tux, Christian Peter. He's going up against the man that ended fourth in the national championships in 2021. Let's welcome Constant Petrius. And on the outside of him, ladies and gentlemen, the world, well, the Africa Youth Gold Medalist. And
and he was the silver medalist at the 2021 National Championships. Can he produce the magic once more? Let's walk up. Lino Duce, He's not going to go along to the former Prestige College. You can see the prestigians are happy to see Linda Gouthier in uh, lining up the, on the outside of him. The man has got a massive CD. He's the Africa the 20 champion. The World University gold medalist. The World Under 80, 18 gold medalist. And the World Under 20 gold medalist. What a CD. Let's welcome Sucks Sassi. Well, that is not it. On the outside of him, two-time national champion. His name needs no introduction. He's the 2021, he's the defending champion. Let us welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Lulu Hammond. That is a strong lineup. 52 is not going to make it.
Chase.
So the second final, here we go. 54.33, there is the mark. Lane two, Justin out in lane three, Liam Sierka in uh, lane in the colors of Sarko. Lane four seems to be vacant at the moment is the man from Menlo Park. Well, the man from Menlo Park, Stefan Schwartzhelder in lane five.
And while we are waiting for the next event, some results. The first heat to the men's 400 meter hurdles. In the third race, John Pierre Ketzel, 58.49. Seta Fatsu Mapopa, 54.16 seconds. And Marcus Bormann, first, 52.18 seconds. Then in the second heat, in the third place, Lalu Haman, 50.31 seconds. Second place, Lindu Pora. 50.16 seconds and then Sox Azazini uh, with a 49.28 seconds. Very, very good opening performance for Sox. And we will eagerly wait in tomorrow the final of the of the 400 meter hurdles. And then the Judith main 400 meter hurdles in the third place, Ewan Bower, 55.53. In second place, Van der Leyen Kreer. Here from the Rienen, 54.03, and then in the first place, the one first station, 52.35 seconds. That was the finals of the main 400 meter hurdles. The youth 400 meter hurdles, heat one. Third place was Kevin Rekorder, 55.66 seconds. Second, Rifulwe Chauke, 54.36. And in the first place, 31, uh, my apologies, 54.31 was Werner Besseignant. Uh, 54.31 seconds, like I just mentioned, in the first place. In the second heat, uh, in the third place was Sibong Kham, Sibong Kham Konki, and Shlapu, 55.59 seconds. Liam Stierkamp, Stierkamp second, 55.22 and in the first place Justin Hutton 54.43 seconds and now we are waiting for the ladies to start uh, youth junior and the senior ladies And this is just a kind reminder, ladies and gentlemen, that all of us are still subjected to the COVID regulations. So it's very, very important that we adhere to all these regulations, that we try to keep our social distancing, keep our masks on, and ensure that we do anything to safeguard ourselves. That. Uh, we adhere to the COVID rules. These rules are not only there for, for other people, but also for yourself. You have to look after yourself and to ensure that you stay safe and that you stay healthy. So please do not forget to adhere to all COVID rules at all times. I'm main. I think it's one, two. One, two. One, two.
Is that you? 300 meter hurdles. Sap on the way. On the outside there is going to be Andre Max in the Dallas Circle. And Siamo Matao from Prestige College as they fly to battle it out. Matao is now out. And it's going to be the man from Texpeño, Mieri. Mieri takes the front as he's now flying away. Will the man from Swarko try to get go with him? Andre Max. That's going to be the man from Bristol, from Tux, Pedro Mieri. Mieri is going to be chased. It's going to be a lovely one. Let the end. The man from Swarkov left it way too early. Mieri just leaves a smooth as he takes a that good medal. That is the boys at 16. 300 meter hurdles. exciting heat and we've got some excellent athletes here Giselle Magerman she was about five six years ago she was a youth Olympic champion and also um, the SA record holder at that time and then you're sitting with Zanae from the vault here in lane number four she is a world youth and a world junior champion and then also right there on the outside and outside her in lane number five uh, we're also sitting there with Taylor Bilt and Taylor Bilt was a very good uh, server and also a medalist a few years ago at the World Championship, Junior World Championship. And uh, she has now moved up to the to the four meter hurdles, but any one of these three girls uh, at any given time can run a sub-56. Uh, Giselle and um, Zanay last year in Europe both run a sub-56 seconds. And uh, that is an awesome time. So let's see how close they can go to running a 57 or faster today. Anything faster than that going to be uh, phenomenal. So um, watch these three athletes, lane two, lane four, and lane five. Those are the athletes to watch. on that lineup. Senior women 400 meters. They are in the last seven attacks. Giselle Martha, Tag Team Team, Lane Two. Nadia Mosby, Tux, Lane Three. Zanay for the vaults, Tux, Lane Four. Thailand Field, Tux, in Lane Five. Athletics Counting for Senior Women's 400 meter hurdle final. Built in five, silver medal, bronze medal 2021. Front of all, lane four, silver medal 2021. Here we go. Oh, they are away. 
semi-final in the senior women 400 meter hurdles. With the absence of Wayne Darnell, this means there will be a new champion crowned in 2022 as uh, Mark Romano is on the chase on the outside there. And it's going to be the flat box in the front of all. Who always runs hard, who always runs flat. That is uh, now currently in second position. The bronze winners from 2021, Thailand Bill, up a fraction there. Holmes on the front of all. Who's it going to be? It's so Bill. But of all now going there a little bit harder than she was. It's so Bill doing the lead. The bronze winner will be Bacherman on the inside. They are the winners. They're going to be there. The silver winners. Is it going to be a new ball? Yeah. The big contact has started here. Charles will have won. It's going to be in front of all. The silver winners. This is the bronze winners. The silver winners from Friday. Today, Bernal takes the silver and the gold. And so will be Diamond Neal. The bronze jersey winner from 2021. So a new run will be in front of all. The bronze winners will be Bacherman. So a new rivalry will begin this year in the absence of Wayne Darnell. So that is how they lined up. And these three ladies are the top 400 meter women. So you can imagine one, two, was out where AGN. The third one as well. One, two, three, AGN. Ruga Joseph was fourth. Fifth was Giselle Macherman in the 2021 edition, so a new queen will be crowned. So let's see who's willing to show. So let me just remind you, I spoke earlier on about the senior athletes in South Africa. They come out and they jog in the heats. Once they hit the final, they unable to perform. There's one athlete since I've seen her from under 16 level. Zanay van der Waal, of it no response to me is, of it fans for her say as Klippart. So I have to fall out, only part from where go till the finish. Welcome back Zanay, it's great to see you. Macy's. She is the under 18 gold medalist ASA championship. On the outside of her is going to be Simone Fleet. So this is going to be a very, very lovely one here. On the outside, in lane 5, uh, one, one of the finalists in the, the under 18 ASA championship. So these two ladies are in a class of their own. Flying in the colors of Aki Space as well. That's how you run if you are the number 18 champion and you are now going to be the under 20 champion. This is how you run. I'm you now, ladies and gentlemen, let's give her a round of applause. The under 18 national champion on the outside in the colors of the Simon Mix takes the silver. And there's a lovely fight here for the Bronx. Woo! Shoo! Well, they lift it all the way to the India. <laughs> Women under 18, 400 meter final. I also have the results here for that stunning 400 meter hurdles, the senior woman that we've just seen. And in the third place, uh, Giselle Marfleman with a time of 58.62 seconds. Then in the second place, Stalin Bielt with a new personal best of 55.91. The first time that she's broken, 56 seconds. And then in the first place, and I think this is the second best time ever, I think the personal best is 55.05, but she ran at 55.36 seconds, and that's the name of the world. I think this is a, an amazing, amazing performance. Let's give them a, a hand of applause, ladies and gentlemen. They really deserve it. Well done, girls. This is very, very good racing.
Blackhawk, lane one. Today at the Cincinnati, lane two, Prestige Colt, mixed teams, SMA, Wills Eye. In lane three, lane number four is one of the entertaining office spaces also once again here. And off on the cat, showing them a clean pair of heels as she now starting to clear. Beria for Beria, she gets away from them and she puts daylight between herself and the counterparts from Swatkoke. Michelle Grunewald in lane six and Arika Leroux makes team. In lane number seven, it's going to be an entertaining one here. And off on the cat now running for time while she's clear. She's clear. She's out of the woods, but the solar man is going to be up against the Just to announce with that uh, this is for ladies youth, the under 18, to announce the medal winners in the third place. It was Mia van der Berg, the distance of 39.11 meters. In the second place, Silonika van der Berg, 49.93 meters. And in the first place, Alicia Puno, 44.82 meters. And then the ladies. For the people hurdles, the juniors that we've also just seen taking place. Uh, in the third place was Lerise Fogun, 66.11 seconds. In the second place, Simone de Vett, 61.10 seconds. And in the first place, Anjan Nell, 60.26 seconds. These were the medals, the junior ladies, for the people hurdles. The results of the youth girls, 400 meter hurdles, that's under 18 girls, in the third place and the bronze medalist, Annika Williams, 61.78 seconds. In the second place, Michelle Frugel, 61.76 seconds. And in the first place, 60 seconds, or 60.34 seconds, Anna Tonika, the gold medalist, ladies under 18, 400 meter hurdles.
And the unofficial winning time is three hundred hurdles for the goals sixteen forty five point four two seconds unofficial. The result of the first heat, 300 hurdles for uh, sub youth girls and the 16. In the third place was Calvary Harmser, 46.77 seconds. Second place, Christy from the Vault, 45.98 seconds. And in the first place, 45.40, Sanei Lewis. That was the three athletes that um, was in the first heat spots in the first heat of the third meter hurdles, goals 16.
Okay, Mr. Cat, watch you. again. Kyllä mä tuotan aina, mä vaan haluan. Oh, näin.
So this one is going to be a lovely and entertaining. Let's welcome the lineup of the men's 200 meter final. England from Masai. Let's welcome the man Karabo Mashibo. Lane number seven from Tux. Here for the vault. And in lane six, this is where it gets intense. Lane six from TUT. Tiseto Musibe. And in lane five from Tux. Yega Rutkita. Well, he's ran the fastest times throughout the day. Now this is where my thesis is about to be put to the test. That when the athlete runs the fastest in the heats, will it be the same in the final? He's got a flyer on the inside. Man as part of the SA4 by 100 meter relay. The man that was at the Junior Olympics. And uh, he was also in uh, contention at the Olympics himself. Let's welcome the on lane four, Snessy Paul, Dambile. On the outside of him, Nicholas Burns from Tux. Lane two, Bulani Nyamani from Tux. And in lane one, Gino Sapalo from Tux. That is the lineup of the senior man. 200 meter final. Three minutes. Before we go, who is the Athletic Scouting North champion 200 years? So time to hide his uh, talent dust it. Show us who's going to be the king of speed. 200 meter final of the men's AGM 200 meter senior men. Here we go. will be on the man that always comes out first. Stacey Portambile, he is in line four. Great vest. Watch him out. Watch Burns on the outside of him.
Luther Owens. They saw the quad for the turf and he came just to run this track a place. But a bit nice to see a fast time. The South 20, but 26 5, still good. National Championships, still some distance. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. The next event, it is the boys under 20, 200 meter final. Lane one from the team, Christopher Williams in lane two. Khoto Makaba from Akasha, lane three, Petro Sunguenya from Tux, and on the outside of the new entertaining specialist in the young men's 200 meters, as well as the 100 meter dash. He is the fastest guy thus far in the country as far as the 100 meter boys championship is concerned. Let's welcome Brickley Williford. On the inside of him, in the colors of that track, let's welcome Dwight Smith, Lasix, Junior Olympian, in the house, Benjamin Richardson. So, the lines are drawn. Who will it be on the outside of Richardson? In lane seven, Alexander Randolph. And in lane eight, the man from Tux, let's welcome Junior Olympian versus the 4x4, 4x100 meters. Well, these two guys are in that uh, three-day squad, both of them. So, they will surely be tearing each other apart, just as we saw in the men's 200 meter final. Kitchen sink, cooler box, can chair, they're gonna throw everything at the sword. If you blink, you'll miss a great fight. So this day has been incredible. Tell you from the start, I'm going to give you everything I've got. So from here on, just going to go full tilt. Tomorrow, unfortunately, won't be here with you. So I'm going to enjoy you for the last bit of this evening. But till we hit the finals of the 10,000 meters ending this night on the climax. Willie Bart, Benjamin, Smith, who is the fastest of the junior men? At an interview earlier on this year with the Riku Reikis in Austin, what it feels like when these youngsters come up, he said to me, when they are of age, there's no seniors, there's no juniors. It is you, the mark, your name, and the time. Sapalo. Nyamane. Ferns. Dambile. Portita. Usine. Fun of all. Williams, Makam, Namani, Olifant, Smith, Richardson, Rakoff, and Najim. Thank you. 
football. That's the future of sprinting. This is who is the king. Right here, right now. The king is the man. Let's give him a nice round of applause. Lovely to watch. The result of the senior main toilet meters, that was the event we saw just before this one. In the third place, Nicholas Ferns, 21.12 seconds. In the second place, Eckhart Polgeter, 20.77. And in the first place, Sia Sipo 20.64 seconds, the gold medalist in the AGM champion also. 21.21 seconds. In the second place, Benji Richardson, 21.11 seconds. And our champion for 2021, Bradley Golivant, and a great time of 20.83 seconds. the sport of running these two 200 meters the senior men as well as the under 20 men just pull each other pieces well here's the queen of sprinting don't run away well ladies and gentlemen that's the queen of 200 meters is she gonna do it once again Junior champ, no pressure. Vanilla Shabal Ruth, you don't know the name. She's about to introduce herself to you. So here we go. It's now the turn of the boys, 18. Nicholas Fox sets in lane one, midstream. Lane two, Coco Mere. Well, from TUT. And uh, in lane three, Hanu van Wat. Harshon Tait, Lane 4, Liam De Villiers, powerful, strong from Montana on the outside of the entertaining, fast, strong, bulky figure of a damsel and Lobo sets in Lane 5 and in Lane 6, Endurance Mathambu from Midstream. Well, he had an easy run in the heats, but no more hiding, young man. The man on the inside is Denzel Inglos. Fainter goes in lane 7, 8, 8, in Tlanta, Nakoro, in prestige. last year. So what's your future prospects for this year? I'll be like it's a must that I win this is it's a must 
It's a must. Well, it's a big statement. So a song says the wall on the 20, wall on the 80, wall on the 90 jam. So he's going to be up against his favorite friend. The solo medalist from 2021. So are you going to upgrade? You hear your man is saying he is a must, he wins. Will you upgrade the silver to gold or what's going to happen? Um, all I'm saying is that it's going to be a fight. So if he's in fight, it's going to be a fight. If I'm in fight, it's still going to be a fight. That's all I'm saying. So what's the story? You guys go and you run. I always love to watch you guys because your facial expressions while you watch each other, you start laughing at each other and then you clip hurdles. Are you going to change it the nationals? Hopefully, hopefully it's going to change it. I will make sure that you see it. So it's going to be a fight. So the lines will have to be drawn. I'm going to be there. I hope I'll be at the national championships. And I'll remind you that this time we're going to be serious. After, after the race, we can all pop champagne and have a laugh. Now, it's always good to see these uh, young guys. Well, it was good to see them while they were youngsters. Now they are of age. They are now seniors. And uh, shit, the Ruhaman is still in the mix. He's not going to give away that one. Hey, I'm going to give you a lot of money. I'm going to give you a lot of money. I'm going to give you a lot of money. The best here. I can't put it there. I can't put it there. We're still in the stadium. Would you just come to me here at the VIP clubhouse, please? I can't put it there, please. Men under 16. Men 16. From Prestige College, Misade Bukele, Makabo, Rob Hurtis, Saki Kawani, Lane 2, Lane 3. Saki Parkis is going to be the setting in the Dallas Prestige College, and that is the fly time. Here we go.
of one of the most entertaining runners in the schools championships, it's Shirley Bailey, the young Yonkers, is a very powerful, so um, uh, hopefully I won't put out much uh, pressure as we head into that one. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the ladies in the senior women's 200 meter final. So this is going to be a monster's race. Don't miss this one. Don't blink. Line eight. Fresh come now. Line seven to name money. Way down now. Eight time national champion. Double Olympian. In line six. Vanilla Shalom. Junior champion. In line five. Line four. Lani Tumuroi. Fantastic. Salah to get champion. Let's see who she's going to be up against. In line three. Both in TSA and in lane two, uh, the uh, Bernice Sterling. Lane one, Ricky Hans.
after this, so will be the 400 meters or 200 meters um, decathlon, decathlon, and then uh, we'll go into the five kilometer race walk, and the quick downer will be the 10,000 meters. Our next event will be the Cathlon. The ladies, it's the, the, the fourth event for the day, uh, the fourth and last. And then I will give you some results. And I've got some amazing results with many personal bests amongst the ladies. We had some ex very, very good times and performances from our athletes. Let's just give these ladies the opportunity to do the third Peter uh, Cathlon, the last event. Uh, of the day. And tomorrow morning and they will start with long jump and uh, travel and then the other meters that will follow.
That was Shannon Kerstan winning the senior ladies. They were running a combined race with the youth, the juniors, and the senior ladies. Uh, 26:42. And with official time, uh, I want to give you some results. And uh, I want to start with the senior women. 200 meters. In the third place, Mpotse Sekese, 23.75 seconds. Then in a personal best with uh, Ria Betsu Maloy, 23.72 in the second place. And in the first place, and she shatters her personal best, Kanele Shabangu, with a time of 23.25 seconds. Then our junior woman, in the third place, Yahweh Collins, 25.02 seconds. In the second place, Juanita Lefifi, 24.64 seconds. And the champion of AGA for 2022, running against a minus 2.6 week, Mila Kompan, in a time of 24.49 seconds. Then one of the highlights also of today, and uh, in the third place, this was for the ladies, 18, 200 meters, our youth ladies. In the third place was Riabaka Matsetsi, 24.73 seconds. In the second place, Precious Molepe, 23.92 seconds. And then in the first place is with a time of 23.36, a case a minus 1.0 wind, Vire Yigre. And I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this is the second fastest time ever by a South African athlete, a South African youth athlete. It's only Iveta Clapp that has run the fastest time, as far as I can remember, that has run faster times than Viwe Yikwe. So, well done. It was an amazing race and a great time. And I think these athletes really deserve uh, the time that they got. Tomorrow, also, the one athletes will be faster, I'm sure, because the wind Okay, my apologies that it will be a warmer and this track actually when it's warm there's great performances then the girls under 16 in the third place also the 200 meters in the third place with a time of 25.71 Zeni Wittes in the second place Christina Rocker with a time of 25.30 and the champion for AGM for 2022 with a time of 24.89 seconds Sunday on the Marva. Well done to all our athletes and I think our ladies did exceptionally well. If um, Viwe, if you are still in the stadium, please come and meet me here at the VIP clubhouse, please. Viwe, Viwe, if you're still in the, uh, in the stadium, please just come to me at the clubhouse, please. Um, Mr. C.D. Olifi, if you bring me your PIN number, um, I can withdraw some funds from you, please. So I would love Mr. C.D. Olifi to report to me so that I can get your PIN number. I've got your SIM card, your Capitec uh, card here with me, but I only need your PIN number so I can withdraw some money. So um, I'm here at the clubhouse. Just report to me and I'll give you your Capitec card, will you give me your phone number, please?
Our next event on the track will be the 400 meter heptathlon. That's also the fifth and the last event of the day for these gentlemen. They started with the 100 meters, then they had um, long jump, then they did uh, shot put, they did hard jump, and now they're doing the 5 meters, and tomorrow they do 110 meter hurdles, and then uh, they will do um, this discus, his javelin, and uh, 1,500 meters for them. Also waiting for them tomorrow. Five of the events today and five of the other events tomorrow. But uh, it's also a combined race, so we're combining the juniors, the youth, and the senior athletes because of the numbers. There's not enough uh, numbers that will justify the race independently in the age groups. We want these athletes to get the best opportunity possible. And like I said, it's not about the placing. But it's all about the points that they accumulate for the performance that they that uh, they receive the other evening. And on completion of the decathlon 400 meters, we will then proceed to the five kilometer walk uh, for the girls and boys 16, and then also the 3,000 meter junior ladies, and then we'll have the senior ladies. Junior men and the senior men, 10,000 meters. That will be our last event. So, the last event for these heptathletes, or pentathletes, the 400 meters, their fifth and final event of the evening. And as I previously mentioned, the, this is all points based. So you can be so lost and you can still win this competition if the, all the points are calculated. So everyone is trying their best. So as they come into the final home straight, please give them a pause and please help them. Cheer them on. We need them to do very, very well. They've done already. This is the fifth event. And uh, it's really, it's very, very tough. Come, ladies and gentlemen. Let's cheer them on. Let's give him a hand. Let's help him through. Let's help him motivate them to get a faster time. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. And it's Dr. McCandry, uh, Dr. McCandry in lane number two. That's going to win unofficially 50.50 seconds. And this was the fifth and final event of the of the decathlon for today, tomorrow morning they will start bright and early.
with the 110 meter four hurdles. Our next event on the track, that will be the race walking. And um, then the 16 girls, the athletes that entered is Pamelo Kole, Nopo Metemba Dubu, New Mufoken, Amanda Letoku, Andishwa Kumalu, and Tanteka Kobise. And the junior girls, it seems that I have no names on my list for the junior girls, but also sat with them is the boys, the youth boys, or the sub youth boys, and then uh, we have entered is an Anthony Nyakale and Orwe Tutu in CB. So the, it is going to be a combined event the girls and the 16, the boys and the 16, and I do not have any entries for the under 18 athletes, the ladies on my list, it seems that there were no entries for this event for Bravo. junior ladies. Bravo. And you must remember, five kilometers is 12 and a half times around the track, so they will start there where the 200 meters are, and then they will start. And uh, you will also see that there is cones being placed out there in the straight, and that's a penalty box. So if an athlete has an infringement and it's been deemed necessary, they will have to spend a, a, a penalty period in this penalty box before they will be allowed again to walk. And there's also a, a board just on the grass embankment over there as you come into the straight. And uh, that also indicates the infringement of each athlete. So uh, if an athlete infringes in any way during this uh, event, they will get an a, uh, infringement mark. So they can also track the infringements that they have accumulated. And then again, Mr. Mulefi, Mr. Mr. C. D. Mulefi, Mr. Mulefi, I think you capite bang karti bai mai. As Mr. Mulefi, I am going to come and I am going to give you a seer. And say, my say, pen number for my fear. Then I can ask you karti for your trophy. So Mr. Mulefi, I think you capite bang karti bai mai. Become relieve me. <coughs> oh. Don't become relieve me.
Training, Pelale. Training. Seven laps to go.
The results of the youth goals toilet meters at that from that's an 18 uh, ladies at that from the toilet meters in the third place was Liani Swanapool 30.16 seconds second was Liana Kilian 28.91 and the first place was Shadai Hendricks with a time of 26.28 seconds In the senior event, in the 200 meters, the winner there was Shannon Fuster, 26.41 seconds. Then we also have the long jump of the youth girls. Um, 
that. That came third, and also gets a bronze medal, is Mishka van der Schuif, the distance 5.62 meters. Second was Anika de Klerk, in a distance of 5.67 meters. And in the first place, and the gold medal winner, also the champion of AGM for 20, uh, Timike Kutsia, with a distance of 6.05. Uh, this young girl already jumped this year, a 6.30 at the Inter High. She's a great athlete, and I think she's got a wonderful um, uh, career also ahead of her. But uh, nonetheless, your school wasn't ideal weather, and she jumped a 605. So well done to her and her coach. Decathlon, youth men, 400 meters, Juan Reitals, 60.93 seconds. In the senior men, 400 meters, in the third place it was Katlevo Matsekane, 52.10 seconds. Second it was 51.99 seconds, it was Friedrich Atreus. And in the first place, Duncan McCallery, 50.47 seconds. Also, the junior main 400 meters decathlon, their last event for the day. In the third place was Ivan van der Linde, 57.56 seconds. In the second place was Roman Klaassens, 55.59 seconds. And in the first place, with a time of 51.53 seconds, was Ruan Ruan Bronkost. This was for these results was the 400 meters for the youth, the junior and the senior men in the hectathlon. Cool. 
Can anyone relieve me, guys? Come on, come on. Cat. Journalist Trevor Trevor
Ah, mas não é Não, só, só. Não é assim, não. Não é assim, não. Não ah, Charles, I sent to Sanyan. I sent relief, I sent relief, Vanyan. I'll send some guys there. They need to raise the setting, make the raise the video swap. Which race is it? Yeah. Which race is it? Ah. This is the part. Yeah. Kazozala. <laughs>
take the belt. The final, Dying Meters. 3,000 meters, well, they need to take stuff. A new star is born here. Carabo now putting a daylight between herself. Well, this is entertaining. Here is your new star that is up and coming. Lovely to watch. Carabo powering to the line now. Well, she's at full tilt. Big the back, Gabriella Gatesworth. All the way to the firing line. Carabo Prestige College. Your champion. Well, just look at her fly away. 954.17. Oh, yes, it's uh, 3,000 meters. So the, the curtain bounders of day number one. So mostly. So, 25 laps. And I believe that it will be nothing short. I believe it will be nothing short of magic. So they are in the house, and so they will line up in the under 20, 10,000 meters. The final men, Sanel Zwane and uh, Solomon Letzualo from uh, Amandas Boxer or the Sanel Zwane. So Prestige College is enjoying that uh, final win. Uh, as they are celebrating in Jubilee. So the following encounter is scheduled to run at the same time it will be the senior women 10,000 meters, men under 20, 10,000 meters, and then 10,000 meters, senior men. So 15 gentlemen. In the senior men, two gentlemen in the board, men under 20, and six ladies, 10,000 meter Ladies and gentlemen, the final, the curtain dana of the 10,000 meters, all the gents and ladies to get their mark on the line. 15 gentlemen in total in the senior championship as well as two young men. So, see who of them will line up and who of them has come out for a fight.
almost got excited when I saw Stephen Mokoka warming up earlier on, but I don't see him on my list. Would have been exciting to have him here. Just uh, broken the world record in the 50 kilometer race. The longevity of the man, the class and quality of the man. So here we go. So the two young men in this encounter Close shot, now zoom in. Um, yeah, before I come forward. Okay. Looks like he's only 14 cars. Yeah. The first one is, 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 is in front. Okay. Okay. Zoom in. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, So I move with this guy? Yeah. Okay. So at this moment, you can only focus on the both two of them, the front two, they must be visible. All right. The rest are important. That's a close shot. All right. What for me, let me show you something. So running together there with the chips. I feel like it's better when you use this, this oh, one. When you 133, 134. It's better because you can zoom out easily. Mm. Oh, yeah. Looks like they're from Hollywood Prats. Second. So, I mean, there's 55 perhaps. I mean, there's that in front. You can see there's uh, not much of a mass of intent. As uh, the multiple national champion in Colin Lawrence. Seated in second, man from TUT is a leading day at the front, Oli Milton Kekane. So the lineup in the women's competition, we've got uh, the in the colours of uh, Masai, the in the outside, the in the front is uh, Mashiro Maloba. Maloba well, Mashiro in uh, the outside lane, we two second position rather, and uh, she's up against uh, Caroline, the uh, Catherine Skosana in the colours of Boxer. Chasing the day in the colors of uh, TUT is uh, Tukumak Zwane. Three ladies there in the front uh, with uh, Michelle Redlin is also in the colors of Boxer. They in behind and uh, just uh, behind her is going to be Marquise and Ritz. So Mulawuti is in third. In the CNN Championship, 10,000 meters. Dango. And uh, now you can see the 
in the women's competition, you can see massive lead that she's got. Almost something like 180 meters. Look at her line, it's uh, almost just 120. Ken Rose Kaba, the Rose of the Road. She is a specialist. 10,000 meters, 5,000 meters, 3,000 meters, the most decorated road runner in the country. <laughs> Time six thirty seven three eight six three nine forty. So the chasing pack has since slipped off the pace. There were only one hundred and twenty. You can see Glen Rose Cover is genuinely the rose of the road. She's running together with the guys as she's pulling them from coast to coast. 10,000 meters. You can see the charisma, you can see the finesse, the beauty of that running of uh, Colin Malauti in the front. Running smoothly, they also, Regan Mahuay is also one of the fast guys here in this encounter. He's almost a third, as there's a, a bit of a surge there from the guys in the back of the John Mutau. The Siva Chauke in the colors of TUT. And then uh, we've got uh, one of the well, straight offs, Motu Kikana. So the man that was supposed to show up here, trying to look with the neck band colors on the. Uh, yes, there is a neck band color, is uh, William uh, Dipale. Blauzi now stretching that lead with 18 laps more to go, 8.29. So here at the back, so the whole lineup of the men's 10,000 meters, Colin Blauzi, and the list is number one, and on the race it's also number one, Olebukhide Sulebiana from Tejo Development. William Adibane from Nick Bank, TUT, Motri Pikama, Tebuho, Sekhalhala from Buxa, 
as he piles here at the back of the lineup. And uh, Lindsay Nisi, Tutti Nisi from uh, Tex. And uh, Jacob uh, Teko from the Hollywood Athletics Club. So he passes Mokubu from TUT. We say it's all for King. Also here in the colors of Boxer. Also a strong runner. So they have uh, had a breakaway, a bit of a surge. As the man in the front is increasing the lead. Each lap he goes. It's 9.34. Seventy laps to go. So here at the back, the guys are entertaining each other. Collins, Hakima. You see them lagging off uh, the Raizia Khosi. Susani from Marian Roberts in uh, the red shorts and the predominant yellow, darkish black of. Uh, Marion Roberts and the ladies here entertaining each other in the colors of Asai, so they in the front, on the shoulder of the athlete in the colors of boxer is Catherine Skosana who is in the front and uh, Mashiro Padova shortly on our shoulders, one of the genes alone. Glenn Rose has left these ladies for now. She's running in a class of her own. Mofo King entertaining the man here at the back. Honors Khadima from TUT being entertained here at the back. Eleven twenty-two, sixteen laps to go for the rest of the gents. As the guys have closed up that uh, bit of a gap uh, from uh, Colin Molau, he is uh, Regan Mahoy. Leaving the Bronx Nicholas from 2021, Ted Rotava. I believe she's got 16 laps to go. So the ladies have got 17 laps more to go. So now it's getting intense, 15 to go. 14 for the guys, 14 laps to go. So they've up the ante. Bukhoi has gone alongside them. Mulauti is still pulling the streets. Many seconds down in the colors of the TUT. Trying to catch up there is Joshua Lesiva. Chauke. Just look at the smooth running from uh, Glen Rose Taba. She's got 15 laps to go. She's left the ladies. All the guys catch up. Well, it has changed tides. It is now Mulauti in third, Mahwai in second. So it's getting nice and intense. It's going to be a lovely matchup at the end. Is someone going to be broken before they end into the uh, final five laps?
shit.
Who's it going to be? So will it be Ring in the White or is it going to be Molten Kigana? Who's going to fire down and light up this track as Molten is in second position? Regan is in the first, Nisiba in third, Chauke, the man from TNT. Followed the actor behind him is going to be Colin Mulaunti. A spoiler here in that passing the line. Boxer also once again represented by Catherine Scorsana. So the leaders are running smoothly, so they've got a four laps to go. And they are just throwing it. It's getting really intense. How many laps for to go for the CMA? Oh, it's like six laps, four, seven laps for to go. And they are just lifting it up. They are raising the bar. They are flying together. And they are matching each other strike for strike. So it's not going to be a massive time. It's going to be uh, something just uh, a little after the 30 minute mark. On the 150 mark. Get on. Going together with the boy. Will it be a ribbon? Will it be the man in behind? He's not many seconds went away from him. But the stride here at the front, they are matching each other. Stride for stride, they're almost running in sync. <laughs> Colin Malanti in fourth. Lisiba in the front. So uh, many, many quality athletes will be lacking this encounter. Glenn Rose Thaba is streaked ahead of the doors. Swami now passing the finish line here in the colors of big back. So it's getting really intense. They're getting the call of how many laps are remaining. 10,000 meters. We will be building it up once we hit the final five laps. Abelanti was all fine, was in the lead, was in the hunt for one of them. Those medals, the gold medal, looked to be in his palm. But since Regan Mokhoi came to the front and just decided, oh, I'm going to have a crack at this, I'm going to have a go and uh, see what kind of a shot. Just look at Glenn Rose Tom, on the 100 meters, or on the 80 meter mark now at the moment. She's just flying alone, she's gliding through the air. And Regan Mokhoi, Milton Kekada. Twenty-three point five eight, twenty-four. So Jane Rose is sticking with the guy. She is flying in her own league. The rights also fly. Boxer here represented by Michelle Lynn Rice. Ten thousand meters, twenty-five laps. It has come down to the final few laps. There are now remaining for the leaders. Well, Regan Mokhoi is not going to be broken. And he's trying to make the man go away, but he's not going away. Molten Kekana is not going to go away. It's that easy. They've got four more laps to go. So it gets 
Gets in 10 stop. Four laps to go. So it comes down to this. It boils down to this. So the Jins have got only four more laps to go. And they have raced the ball. They are flying. They are really digging into the same thousand meters. Giving it what they got. Right. To pass it here at the finish line. She's got four laps, five laps to go. Really nice. 2,000 meters. The curtain down of day number one. It links hard to North Championships. It has been an explosive day. It has been a massive day where the 200 meter athletes dazzled us. The 400 meter hurdlers also gave us a good crack. In the, the likes of LaRue Harman, Sox, the Magic Man, and Lino Bujogora. So I believe that the starter has finished a loaf of bread and she's finished her game. And she's done for the day. And Sophie, thank you so much for doing your part. Daniel Posiso with the final one. It's going to be a massive one. 1,200 meters, Mula Uti. Here at the back, he looked very comfortable and very smooth earlier on. So the two guys are really going at it. They are now flying the... Will they take this one by the scruff of the neck? It's going to be the gold medal that's going to be battled out for. Remember, the man in second has got an incredible strength. So Riga needs to kick and kick some more and keep on kicking up until the very end. Hey, this guy's been running. So here they come. This is where the crux of this race is, 800 meters. The 800 meter event has become a flyer. Regan Mahoy. While the man in behind, Milton Kekana, looks to be struggling. Is he struggling or is he just poised? Is he just holding there, waiting for the final minute to pounce? 700 meters to go. While well, this is now getting intense. This is now getting real. It's getting serious. Maguire kicks up the empty. Well, he is with him. He's matching him. He's just kicked together. Try to break in there at the water point. Some of the athletes are broken at the water point once the other guys are in the way. Milton Kikana on his shoulder. Milton Kikana moves to the front and he's pulling away now. 600 meters to go for the leaders. Will they take it all the way? Is it going to be a massive battle for the gold medal? It will it be an arm wrestle now? 500 meters now they come into the home straight. 500 meters more to go. Now for the first time, Milton Kekona takes the front. For the first time he hits the front. Will it be the gold medalist? They take the bell, 28-46. So they have since upped their game. Three hundred meters to go. Bolton Kitana. Regan Mahoy. They haven't built it up yet. They're still poised. They're still holding. No one has given the final nail in the coffin. No one has kicked yet. They're just holding it on. They're waiting for the final one. Kick on it. Kick silhouette to the front. And now they're going. Paul Milton kick on it. Go away. Is Regan going to catch him? He's trying to ring him in. 100 meters to go. They're not kicking at all. It looks like Milton kick on has got this one wrapped up. As he's now just cruising for the line. Is he done? Is it all over? Yes, it's done. It's all over. Milton takes the gold. Rigan Mopoy will take the silver. Lesiva coming into the house. 
as uh, the lady, one of the gents will take the bell. And one, two, and three. Kumile, that's how we bring the curtains down on day number one. What a day, 29.50. Well, they look to be out of contention for the sub-30 minute mark, and they just did it in style, kicked and kicked without even looking as if they're kicking. Well, this is incredible. In fourth position is the man, Colin Lozzi. So those are the faces we will see at the national championships. No stress at the moment, Colin. Still a long way away from the national championships. So now coming in, it's going to be a massive one. Just wondering how many laps she still got. Kendra Stava. Two to go, 800 meters. So the man in the colors of Nick Bank. Waiting for a few more laps. Number six in the house. Is it five or six in the house? So they're coming in thick and fast, but the One more takes about the in the colors of Boxer. So the gyms are just passing it out. The gold medal in the women's competition will go all the way in the, the form of Glenn Rose Trava, who is just absolutely flying and gliding, running in a class of her own, running in her own league, in her own race. Unfazed, unopposed, Glenn Rose Trava. Take down the leaders. 25 laps. One gold, both the senior men and women, as well as the under 20 gents, took part here in the, the under 20 championships. Sunday is on it, Tofen is on it, they in the colors of TUT. Ken Rose will take the bell this time around. She's got uh, only 400 meters, you can see she is backing it out. She is grinding as she goes. Less than 400 meters to go. SA's most decorated for 10,000 meter athlete, most decorated Rose of the Road, 10 kilometer runner. While she's uh, one that represents uh, South Africa on many, many occasions in the marathons, in the half marathons. Then Rose Cover in the final 250 meters. Now she goes. She's looking comfortable as the man here from TUT will finish off. It is going to be an incredible one here. Marion Roberts uh, there in Khosi Tusane also finishing it up. It's going to be Glenn Roth Carver. 200 meters less to run for that final stretch. She's coming in. Glenn Rose 150 to go. 33, 16, 17, 18. It's going to be a massive victory. A massive, massive. Almost like two laps. She's got to believe 100 meters. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring in your AGN champion. Glenn Rose Carla, the gold medalist. The Rose of the Road. As she just powers for the line. This is how you want if you are one of the great in South Africa. As she grits, grind, and just the grimace as she goes to the finish line. The Rose Tava. Lovely, lovely to watch. So it is good at this moment, ladies and gentlemen, to sign out, to thank you for a beautiful day, for a glorious day at uh, the first day of the uh, Athletics Counting North Championships 2022. It has been a blistering day, it has been a lot of drama between the field events as well as the track events. Started off with the 200 meters, 800 meters, it was explosive. One of the athletes there uh, running the second fastest time in the men's 800 meters, Tempo Theater. Fantastic stuff, and then a fantastic close to the two junior records that uh, just flew in uh, the 400 meter uh, hurdles. Just clipping some of the hurdles, say, and uh, how about 45 power into the line? This is your man, Tapo Olete, the sweet chaser. Out.
Smoke. White circle close. 